Craig comes in with a CPU upgrade question that I think is really gonna matter to people come early 2024, because this is coming soon. It is. Craig, thank you. He says he just got a 7800 XT. Any sense going from a 5600X CPU to a 5700X 3D CPU when it releases? He is on a 1440p monitor, 240 hertz, and plays mainly Warzone, Fortnite, and GTA. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. For those of you who don't know, um, all of the information available so far indicates that come January, probably maybe at CES, CES AMD is going to be announcing a Ryzen 7 5700X3D. We even have specs on it. It is going to be a 5800X3D minus 400 megahertz of clock speed. 400? About 10%. Okay. Now, is it going to be worth it? We don't know the price. Mm -mm. If it's $179, I will shout from the rooftops, hallelujah, that's a good deal, go buy it. If it's $249, I'll say that's dumb and stupid and you should not. Why would I say that's dumb and stupid at $250? Because you've been able to buy a 5800X3D for seven or eight months now for $300. And saving 50 bucks by waiting nine months to get there is a foolish use of money. You should have just bought it back when it was $300. So price determines everything. Whether it's a good deal depends upon price. Now, he does have a reasonable use case. He has a 240 hertz monitor. Mm -hmm. He plays Warzone, Fortnite, and GTA, and he wants really high frame rates. That's the 3D cache's benefit. Yep. Here's the only problem. A 7800 XT at 1440p, unless you are running at minimum detail or in Fortnite performance mode, is not going to do 240 frames per second. He is not going to like to hear this, but he bought the wrong video card. I was sitting there going, that looks a bit thin. It is thin. He needs a 7900 I mean, XT. His CPU and GPU are thin for 240 hertz. This video card? Now, if this were 1080p, 240, that'd be fine. This, with this, is thin. Now you can turn Call of Duty Warzone's details to minimum. You can put Fortnite into performance. GTA is fine. GTA is old at this point. You can put Fortnite in performance mode. And yeah, okay, you'll pretty get there. It's, it's the wrong hardware for the use case. I would have encouraged you to buy a 7900 XT. And before you say, for 1440p, yes. Well, if it wasn't a 240 hertz monitor. Well, yeah, okay, that's a great point. If it was a 1440p, 144 hertz monitor, then you did fine. It's the 240 that's the problem. 240 is demanding. Here's the other problem with your CPU. 5700X3D, 5800X3D, still going to struggle. Replace the platform, get a 7800X3D. It's expensive, it's worth the money. You have a $500 video card. The 7800X3D is going to be 20 to 25% faster than a 5800X3D and probably 35% faster than a 5700X3D. If you want 240 frames per second in Call of Duty Warzone, Zen 4 is your friend. You'll spend 200 bucks on the board. You'll spend 360 on the CPU. You'll spend 100 ish on the RAM. Well, he's probably doing that because he doesn't want to replace the whole system. So he's trying to figure I'm out. I'm telling him what he needs to I do. Know, he doesn't but, want to hear this. Well, but, but the, you know, a 5700X3D is 56 out, 5700X3D in, but it, that's. But if it's $250, I mean, if it's 170 bucks, fine. I don't think it will be. I'll be surprised if it's less than 250 And one. I wonder if he's really asking the question, what can he put in his computer to change out from the 5600X to get that 1440p 244Hz monitor 7800X3D. Exactly. There's nothing on the platform that you've got that will do that. And then you're ready for the future because there's an upgrade path. That's, that's, that's the answer. He may not want that answer, but that's really what you should do because otherwise you're putting money into a socket that... 
you're adding two cores and you're adding three cash, you're gonna spend several hundred bucks to do it. It's just not very interesting. We'll have to see what the price is. But that's my opinion. I would replace the platform with a 5800X 3D. 58? <laughs> 7800X, thank you. You're welcome. A 7800X 3D, it, nothing less will be a wow experience. You won't be impressed otherwise. Craig, thank you very much for your first super chat. Josh is back. It's a good question. It is. Josh says, is your i5-13600K build guide still worth it at the end of 2023? And is it future-proof or should I wait for 2024 releases? A 13600K and an RTX 4070 or a 7800 XT, despite my comments about the 7800 XT before, he's on a 240. 240 is not common. Yeah. Um, yes. That's still a good combo. Here's my only counter advice. If you can afford a hundred bucks, the hundred bucks thing. hundred bucks. The i7 14700K is a 20 thread, as a 20 core, 28 thread chip. It's six more cores than the 13600K. Yep. It's a hundred ish dollars more. The fourteen seven hundred K for four hundred dollars is really compelling right now. So take the thirteen six hundred build, but put a fourteen seven hundred K in there if you can swing it. Even if you have to give a little on the video card, you'll upgrade the video card. Yeah, at some point. But with twenty cores instead of fourteen cores, yeah, that'll future proof and higher clock speeds. Correct. Bob you'll Michael. you'll get another year or maybe two years out of it for whatever it is you're doing. You now, whether it lasts you three years, four years, or five years, a 13600K will last some lesser amount than a 14700K. It'll give you a little bit extra. So for a hundred bucks, you make your machine nicer. That's my opinion. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend 100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.